With the initial setup of our Ting Samsung Transform completed, we can dig into some of the pre-installed applications on our phone. First, we'll look at the browser. Tap the application tray icon and then select Browser. To visit a website, tap in the address bar at the top of the browser window. Type the address you want to visit using the on-screen or hardware keyboard. We'll go to ting.com. Hit the Menu button to bring up a context menu. You can tap to open a new window or tap to see all open windows. This menu is also where you'll find Refresh and Forward Browser buttons. To navigate back a page, use the Hardware Back button. Tapping on More brings up a bunch of options that will come in handy later. Here you can add a bookmark, find text on a page, share a page via Facebook, Twitter, email, or other sharing-enabled apps you may install later, or jump straight to your downloads area. Next we'll look at the camera. Access the camera by opening the app tray and choosing the camera item, or by pressing the camera button on the side of the Samsung Transform. Across the bottom of the viewfinder or on the side if you're holding the phone in landscape mode, there are some camera settings buttons. Tap the leftmost one to access zoom. You can zoom in up to four times. Tap the flash icon to set flash options. Automatic to let the camera decide whether it needs the flash. On to force fire the flash and off to, well, turn it off. Next we have some options for lighting type. Choosing a different lighting type changes the color temperature of your image. Next we have the option to grab location data and embed it into the images we shoot. This can be turned on or off. If you leave it on, the GPS coordinates of the place you shot a picture will be inserted into the metadata of said picture. This is known as geotagging. Finally, we have the settings button on the far right. Here we can switch between using the front or the rear camera, change the focus mode, choose from several scene modes, change the light metering options, picture size, picture quality, and choose from a few image effects. We can also restore the camera's defaults at the very bottom of this menu. Line up your subject. You can double tap on the Samsung Transform screen to toggle between 1x and 4x zoom. Tap the camera button or the on-screen shutter button to snap a picture. You'll see a preview of your image. Tap the bottom icon to view it in the gallery. Tap the Set As button if you want to set the photo as wallpaper or as a contact picture. Tap the two arrow icon to share your picture. Tap the trash can if you want to delete the photo. Use the hardware back button if you want to return to the camera and take another shot. Next, we'll set up our work email account. Open the email app. By default, it'll be one of the app shortcuts on your main home screen. Enter your email address and password. Tap Next. Give the account a name and set the name that will be displayed on outgoing messages. Once setup is complete, your email will be pulled in. Tap any item to read. Tap the menu key and use the on-screen buttons to reply, forward, delete, or move the message. Back in your inbox, tap the menu key on your phone to bring up a context menu. Here you can sort your email, change account settings, or compose a new message. Your Gmail account was configured when you first logged in or created a new Google account in the initial device setup process. Open the Gmail app and you'll be dropped into your inbox. Tap the menu key to access a context menu where you can compose a new message, add a new Gmail account, view Gmail labels, search, or access more detailed settings. Next, we'll look at the Android market. By default, the market is a shortcut on your first home screen. Tap to open. This is where you'll come to access the over 250,000 Android apps that are available. If you're looking for something specific, tap the search icon at the top of the screen or hit the dedicated search button on your phone. Type in your search terms and hit enter. Scroll through your results. Tap an entry to get more insight into the app, including an overview summary, screenshots, and user reviews. If you like what you see, tap the install button. If it's a paid app, you'll be prompted to enter your billing information, which will be stored by Google Checkout for future purchases. On this screen, you're alerted to any and all permissions the app requires. It's important that you thoroughly read this information for all apps. If something doesn't sound right, if a solitaire game requires access to your contact list and dialing privileges, for example, don't be afraid to hit the cancel button. If everything checks out, though, hit OK. The download will begin. Drag down your notifications bar to see the download progress. Once the app is fully downloaded, the installation will begin automatically. You can see this progress in your notifications bar, too. Once it's installed, you'll find your new app in your app tray. Be sure to watch the other parts in this Ting Startup Guide for your new Samsung Transform smartphone. Enjoy your new phone!